If he can stop Etorito scoring right off the bat, Adam, which as we get this underway, Etorito is tacking left to right. We'll see here right now. Let's see how quickly Etorito gets this moving. It's yeah. going to be quick. It's going to be fast. It is indeed. As Maitland Niles picks it up already on the left hand side, he's got to stop him early doors here. You feel, Faden, because if he can't, uh, Etorito always starts quickly and Et uh, he's got a chance here through a Wobi, uh, but cleared away. And uh, we've said time and time again how good he is in the opening 10 to 15 minutes. And right from the Offset, he's in again here. Mikateri chops across it in. He can't get out, he's boxed in. It's still Hector Bellerin in towards Awobi. He's got to ride this storm out if he's to get oh, it's my up the crest. Is that it? Is it got over the line? Is that all eyes on the referee? What has he given here? I don't know. Uh as a foul, is something given? I, we have no idea that came the, off the bar. Oh, it's, it's gone out. out of play, but it's it's gone <laughs> over the line, yes. but not the line wow. that Etorito wanted. Of course, he has a <laughs> corner now to be taken on this near touch line from Maitland Niles. He needs to get this out here, Fiden, and it only goes as far as Hector Bellerin back in towards Iwobi, still camped inside the is. box. Go! <laughs> how good he is Ricky yeah it was a question can the young boy 16 ride out the storm no he can't Etorito takes a drink takes a little bit of composure and yeah what a start Adam I mean that was absolutely incredible and anyone watching at home wanting to know what Etorito can do in a semi-final remember I mean Fighter's not even touched the ball. No, he hasn't. It's been an onslaught for the opening uh, seven, eight minutes. You know, this is why he is so good. This is why he is the reigning champion. He just doesn't stop. Can the young boy now get back into this? I said in the last game Etorito played against Very Sutton how suffocating Etorito was in terms of not allowing him to get out of even his own 20 yard area. And it's exactly what's happened again here every time. Uh, Faden got the ball in that opening five minutes. He won it back straight away, and of course, it resulted in that opening goal of the first semi final. And uh, you can only see one way traffic at this moment in time, Ricky. Yeah, now we've got to see what uh, uh, the young boy from Indonesia can do. But the pressure's back on him again. Etorito works it forward. Danny Welbeck, Mikatari looking to play it through. Great save. Brilliant stop by Leno. And that's what you need, a little bit of quality in goal every now and then. Now he's got to make the most of this attack down the right-hand side. Lays it inside, Maitland-Niles, dispossessed. Aubameyang picks the ball up and finds Iwobi, back to Aubameyang again. This is really, really promising period of possession and pressure from Etorito and Fider needs to weather the storm and just remain the one goal behind as Aubameyang now has the chance to mount an attack here for the man from Southeast Asia. And... Uh, I mean, it's, it's probably nice for him, Ricky, just to breathe a sigh of relief from that early onslaught. Yeah, it just needs to get a little bit of, uh, you know, possession, calm it down a little bit. Still a lot of time to play, uh, and as this longer goes on with a 1-0, he'll give himself a little bit more confidence. He's worked it well, he's looked to whip that one in back post, there's a header. Good save. Good save indeed from Pedacek, didn't really trouble him too much though, but it's, uh, you know, promising for that man, it's into again towards Aubameyang, tries to turn and shoot, can he pull the trigger? Oof. Great defending in the end, a hard in the mouth moment for some of the fans who wanted the referee to point to the spot, he was unmoved and waved away the appeals back in towards the danger area again, this is really good play here from the young 16 year old wonder kid from Indonesia, but again Etorito this time weathers it. Now yeah, look to try and break, but lost possession, now he's got a chance though because they've been caught down the line, it's well back, surely one on one, will he let square? No, and then it just fired past the post. Danny Welbeck, he's been pretty pretty prolific today, Danny, but couldn't score, Adam. I mean, on his weaker foot, right foot, maybe it's in. It's a weaker foot, Ricky, but I'm, I'm honestly shocked by the fact that we're not seeing 2-0 on the scoreboard because Etorito has been absolutely clinical in front of goal today. And, uh, well, it's a real let-off for Fiden. Can he mount the well? He can't even get the ball back again. This is, once again, that suffocating pressure. That press is back with Etorito, the 21-year-old world champion from Italy. Now it's uh, Danny Welbeck again. Can't quite find that final pass. Oh, now he's got to try and defend the Italian as uh, Lacazette picks it up. Just biding a little bit of time. They do, you know, they're a little bit slower, Faden, you say, with the way he plays. Etorito is a one-off, uh, very unique player. He's just so quick with the way he thinks about players to move this way, that way. And uh, also defensively, very solid as well. Lacazette now has been caught, but a chance for the free kick, maybe. Yeah, uh, well, of course, in the last game, Fighting came from 2-0 down to go through to this stage. But 
Eterito's a, a different cookie altogether. It's very, very difficult once you can see him to come back into the game, but if anyone could do it, you feel Fiden might be one of those players as Medley, chance to get the shot away, blocked again. Now, Torreira, I mean, how, how impressed with you are? How impressed with you are? That's not good. <laughs> uh, how impressed are you with Eterito's defensive play in the last year or so yeah, as well? I, yeah, he's been working on it because he was never this, I, I mean, he's better than he was at the regionals. He really has been working on whatever he has been working on, which is everything, but defensively certainly has been an element of his game coming up to the last 15 minutes and hasn't been too much of a scare for him looking for number two he's had a couple of sniffs for that second goal Aitlin Niles got caught referee plays advantage Mkhitaryan lovely ball cuts it back and into the arms of Leno he needs to get to half time here fight him because if he goes 2-0 down you can only see one winner I don't think in the history of the Pez League I've seen I could be corrected I, I, I haven't seen Eterito go 2-0 up and not go on to win a game as Maitland Niles plays it through towards Mikateri now. Ubamyang chance to turn and shoot back to Lacazette. This is really promising play from the Indonesian as Mikateri still has the ball in the right area just in terms of territory, down. but he just can't get that final. He can't pull the trigger, can he? No, he closes you down, Eterito, so quickly. As you said, he sort of suffocates you and you just can't get the ball and, and do something with it. You have to make the most of your chances. He's hasn't had too many but now Eterito looking for number two lays it back but couldn't quite get there Mkhitaryan four minutes remaining in the first half of the first semi-final of the Pez 2019 world finals as Torreira now joins the attack for Fiden who to be fair even though his final ball hasn't been great he's still been pretty impressive but it's another chance here for Eterito to score a second crucial goal possibly wow. what a save that is and that in the competition absolutely you can see there right at the end of the half but a bit of a lifeline but overall Eterito's done enough to take the lead and keep it in that first 45 minutes of course second half gets underway we've switched sides now Eterito is uh, attacking right to left and uh, you know Adam, he's got to get back in this Faden does he need to go early does he need to change tactics what has to be done here it, to be honest I, I think he's probably fairly happy with that 1-0 scoreline because Eterito has had two massive chances that on another day he would have easily scored. So uh, I think he'll be counting his lucky stars right now that it is only 1-0. And, of course, we know he can come back from uh, adversity and, and, and that could happen again here. Of course, just that one goal is uh, always turnable, of course. Yeah, I think, you know, that could play in the back of the mind of Eterito, knowing the fact that if he'd watched that match, and I'm sure he did, he's been watching him all day, uh, this guy can come from behind, so he has to be careful that he doesn't do anything too laps, lose possession in silly places. We've seen a couple of errors today. It happens, the pressure's on as uh, we make a couple of alterations early on uh, in this second half. Very similar formations, of course, uh, Eterito with the two at the top of the three in midfield, a slightly more attacking rookie. Yeah, I definitely feel that that's what it's going to come down to. You know, you have to get those players forward, but you've also got to make the runs. You see lines going across the screen, uh, screen constantly, and that's because they are making those runs through as the ball is fed on. Here is a chance. He would be offside, decides to delay it a little bit. Eterito now down the left-hand side, but a great challenge. 51 minutes gone here. Still, Eterito, the former 2018 world champion, the current world champion, leads here in the first semi-final and uh, Iwobi finds Aubameyang, a second goal for Eterito, you feel, would put him into the final as Hector Bellerin can't pull the trigger, and we're on a knife edge here, Ricky. Yeah, he's still going, the pressure's on, back inside, Mkhitaryan, Iwobi, this is where it's relentless for Eterito, and it's difficult to get the ball out, and really you feel like the Indonesian man has to clear it, does well, Aubameyang with a bit of space and time, could switch it, but decides to take it up the line, as uh, Koscielny comes across, laid inside, Lacazette, just biding his time, nice little fake there, Mkhitaryan, but once again, Eterito showing his defensive quality. Indeed, even though you feel that Eterito's been a little bit lax in front of goal himself, you've still got to be impressed with how Fiden's managed to sort of contain the Italian beast right now, as he plays it in towards Danny Welbeck, and another chance, and you feel the longer the game goes on, Ricky, the more chance, the higher chance, the bigger chance that Faden's got of actually producing a shock upset here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, definitely as this game draws on, he's, he's going to get a little bit more confident, but he has to make the most of these chances. And he, he certainly has been working on the set pieces. I believe he scored from a corner in the last game, which he worked very, very well 
playing this on the edge of the box. Will it be similar? We'll find out. But yeah, it's all important now. We're into the semi-finals and changes, minute changes could be key. Not quite the goal fest we had on our last stream together, Ricky, but no. equally as tantalizing to cast on because for many different reasons, it's been a, a, a true epic as well as it's played in towards Lacazette, headed away only as far as Willock. Another chance here for the 16-year-old, but he's been dispossessing it. Dangerous. This Capri is really costly on the counter-attack as Ubamiang picks it up over the halfway line. Support in the middle, can't pull the trigger. Again, brilliant defending. Yeah, great play, and uh, but he's lost possession himself. There's the nerves kicking in, making the wrong passes. Torreira has got players peeling away, ball over the top, looking for Katia, but... Yeah, it is very... Uh, I thought there'd be more goals in this, but they are cancelling each other out. You did say to me, absolute goal fest I before we so. started off air. Uh, unfortunately for you, it isn't, but it's still been, as I said, a very, very enjoyable watch for different reasons as Lacazette picks it up, a tactical battle. Oh, it's in towards Mkhitaryan, the chance for the equaliser. Oh, wow, what, what a save that is from Pelicek, and what a chance wasted, but it's still in the danger area, saved by Pelicek again. Ooh, and ooh. Ricky, that's a huge, huge moment in this match. It is, and Mkhitaryan, and he went straight at the goalie, though, didn't he? Had options, and right here, I thought he could lay this back. He had numbers, tried to just squeeze it in. That could become costly. You don't get many chances against a world champion and uh, it's a huge <laughs> moment in this match that's come and gone. But still, Ricky, he has just a one goal to turn around with 25 minutes or so, and it's in towards us. A wasted set piece, of course, but he's still well and truly in this encounter. And Etorito will be looking over his shoulder here. Yeah, this hasn't been one-sided at all. Very, very even. In fact, this second half, you probably fancy the Indonesian to, to possibly grab this equaliser. Here is a chance for Willock. He's looking for those balls over the top. Etorito's got to keep on his guard. Cleared away. Willock picks it up, lays it inside. Aubameyang pickpocketed away, and now's a chance. Kashiani up towards Aubameyang. Now, Lacazette, you know that Etorito feels that one extra goal could be the difference. He's getting a little bit, you feel, worried by this period of play because it is all Fiden in the last five to ten minutes or so as Ubamiang picks it up, twists and turns, finds Kalasinac, the tempo, the pressure, the pace of the play is increasing minute by minute for the Indonesian, the 16-year-old Wonderkin, and he's forced another corner and pressure is really, really mounting. Yeah, this is, I think, the third corner for him now. 15 minutes left, though, time is not on his side. He needs a good delivery. You have to get this away from the goalie. I think he's going to possibly lay this on the edge of the box, but he's got to do something different. No, he's gone for the near post, hasn't worked out for him. And Etorito now, but out of just he can't get the ball, Etorito. He really can't. It's almost roles reversed of what we saw in the opening 15 to 20 minutes or so in this game as Ubamiang turns it in towards Mikaterin. Five seconds oh, oh, just word. inches away from finding his fellow Arsenal compatriot, and that would have been surely a huge shooting chance. Ten minutes, a chance on the counter attack for Etorito to wrap. This game up, Lacazette can't find Inkatia. Oh, he's oh, almost wow. given it straight away. He has, it's Lacazette, it's Inkatia. He's got support in the middle. He's back towards Lacazette. It won't be saved by Leno. And finally, we breathe a sigh of relief here. That was another chance this time for Etorito. Yeah, great save by Leno. Edge of seat stuff. And yeah, Etorito will take that now. Just calm the nerves, a little bit of a break for him. Time is ticking away. He's only got nine minutes to put himself into the final. But I've been very, very impressed by this young 16-year-old. Well, He's I mean, just we been were, great. He really, I mean, we were all talking how we... we, we I'm not, not sure of the actual total numbers of, of the studio panel, but I'm pretty sure the majority went with Etorito. Uh, I don't think many people thought it would be quite as close as this so far, though. No, he's been very good defensively and attacking, and he's been unlucky. He's had a couple of chances. Mkhitaryan now off the line. I'm still thinking about that Pedacek save, where either yeah. side of the goalkeeper, it's 1-1. Yeah, it was, and now you can see the changes are being made. Etorito's looking to... What's he doing here, Ricky? A little bit more. He's going for the diamond formation, you know, pack it in the middle. Uh, whereas Faden's going for the 4-3-3, understandably so. He's playing a very deep line, though. You can see how far the centre-backs are and the left and right back, because he knows how quick Etorito does counter. But I feel at this stage, with nine minutes left, just keep the ball somehow. And if there's danger, hit the corners. Yeah, it is that game management period now, that final eight minutes, and you would expect someone of Etorito's calibre, the experience, he, he should be able to see this game out. But we've seen Faden do it before. Yeah, and as I said, that might be in the back of Etorito's mind because he's he has... a bit jittery, hasn't he? Yeah, they have similar style of play. 
Etorito's very quick, plays Tick Attacker, and Faden's doing the same to him. He's very patient when he builds play up. And he just needs a little bit of luck. Can he find it? He's got nine minutes to find out. Absolutely. I'd like to hear what uh, his uh, fellow Broken Silence compatriot, Alex Salgathiel, has to say about this game afterwards, because it'd be interesting to see whether he's, he's seeing what we're seeing and whether Etorito is... You know, he's shown these sort of weaknesses in terms of that jittery fragility, just the fine margins of a 1-0 before, maybe when they've been playing each other. Yeah, very true, very true. But, yeah, we're still looking at the tactics. Uh, obviously, this is nail-biting stuff, and then they need to take as much time as they can. I'm sure their palms are, are rather sweaty, just like myself, just watching the game. So I well, can't you know imagine you, them you know playing. You, you know yourself as well, Ricky. Obviously, you play a lot of pairs. Um, you know, these fine details that whether it is just a slight positional change one one player here and there change can can I mean we've seen uh, I'm trying to think back two games when Lacazette came on and then fresh legs completely open. I think it was Faden's game, yeah. game actually where he equalized in the last minute he brought two players on I think it was Welbeck and Lacazette and those fresh legs really completely changed the period of play and he was able to grab that goal so it's a huge moment in this match and that's why it's taking so long isn't it yeah, I believe that might be the reason, unless there's some sort of issues elsewhere. We haven't had anything in there, but yeah, we're getting it underway. But yeah, bringing on fresh legs is massive. It happens in pairs, you know, the stamina does play an important part. Either way, Etorito now to take the corner. If he can get something out of this, get that two-goal lead. Would you hide it, hold it in the corner here? I, I mean, maybe I would, probably, but that's not Etorito at all. He's not going to play that. He's a very gun-ho type of player, but he does have a lot of experience. He knows what to do. He's been in this situation before. He but has. It's a, it's, a, it's a tricky opponent. It is indeed as Welbeck finds Willock a chance to play it out towards John Jules. The fresh legs of John Jules. This is He's it. into the area. Surely it's a oh, chance. Wow. Oh, what a challenge from Socrates. But it was those fresh legs, Ricky, which almost paved the way for the equaliser. That's fractions, isn't it? If he just gets ahead of the defender, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. You would expect him to score, but Etorito showing his experience defensively. Huge challenge. It really yeah, it was. was a huge moment in the match. Yeah, and we've got, what, a few more changes to be made. Only five minutes in this. This is a semi-final. It's not even a final, but it's been played like one. And it's been launched high, but oh, it's uh, a wasted. little bit wayward, isn't it? Yeah, that's disappointing, I think. Even fighting after that momentum was really building, it's almost completely uh, had his uh, stomach punched out, really, with that. And Etorito has a chance to breathe again, and uh, he's going to go again with a long ball downfield towards Enkatia now. One back by Lacazette, chance to play it back to Enkatia. Four minutes are all that stand between the world champion from going through to the finals of the Pez World Finals 2019. Is Hector Bellerin. Chance to hold it in the corner. This is the smart management, play. smart play, but he's going to twist and turn. You said yourself, Ricky, he just doesn't want to do that. He wants to go for that next level goal, but he's gonna now he's going to... I mean, it's, it's surely game over here. We're into injury time at the end of the second half of the second, well, first semi-final as Pedacek runs all the way to the corner. <laughs> and surely Etorito, last year's world champion, is going be careful, to be the careful, final. Be careful. Left, he's almost made a horrific mistake <laughs> there and still... The pressure's on, and surely the referee has a whistle to there his lips, it is. and Etorito's <laughs> into the final. Unbelievable. He says, keep it calm, we have it, but that was not easy. And I'll tell you what, we're going to see this young lad again, because he has been sensational in this tournament. And I think Etorito...